Hello, welcome to this tutorial on mixing synths together using EQ. I've touched on this before and I'm just going to show you how I identify the frequencies that I'm going to be using for each synth and then you kind of cut and boost to start to mould them together. Um, it's only really the first stage I do, there is uh, elements of compression, distortion, stereo imaging, stuff like that, but I'm just going to stick with the EQ for now and then if everybody wants to see that, I can do that at a later date. Um, so as you can see, there are two synths playing here. One I've made in Massive this morning, and then just a standard pluck preset from the uh, standard Nexus presets. And you can hear that we have other elements in there, but we're gonna focus on just how I identify these synths and which frequencies are gonna be cut and boosted and just why. So you'll see a series of markers that I've put in on each channel. So if we just focus on the first one. Now the first dot marks out the first major frequency. You could call it the fundamental frequency or the first peak, uh, just how you would understand the terminology. Um, so that's the first peak, so that's kind of where the body of the sound starts. So that's 93 hertz. Now if we look at the first point I've put on here, you can see the first peak is clearly 193 hertz as opposed to 93 so we've got two totally different sounds in, ter in terms of timbre and in terms of frequency so back to the first one we've got the second blue dot which is marked at 373 now this is where I'm picking out like a main dip so it does get filled just there but then it turns into a big V shape there so I've ent identified that as kind of a, a gap if you would and then if we move into the second one, the blue dot identifies a gap here. So it's quite, it's a lot tighter that V, um, it's a lot narrower uh, just compared to this one. This is quite wide. It's quite big. So there's a bigger gap on that one. So there's two identified areas. Then the third one, the two pink dots, if we look at that at 929 hertz, this is kind of where I think there is a kind of fundamental niceness about it. It sounds like the area that you want to enhance, whereas the other one, we've enhanced this section. Just I've got a feeling that this is more of the lower mids and this one is more of the higher mids. So we're going to merge them together based on those two ideas. So we've got higher and lower. So, we'll start with this blue dot. What we're going to do is we're just going to experiment. I'm just going to boost. So, let's just so, there seems to be a bit of body in there, something that we can utilize. So, we're just going to keep that. You can see there's a slight rise on the peaks there, just boosting some of those frequencies. But what we want is this to be the lower and this to be the upper. So let's make sure we cut it. So let's just cut it a bit further. Let's go dramatic. Right, so we'll cut it by about minus seven ish. Yeah, minus seven dB. So if we just bypass it and see what it sounds like without that. So we've made it sound quite hollow. Uh, and if we go back to this one. Now we've got 694 and that's 34, so we're going to cut this section here, this blue one. I'm going to go dramatic again, we'll go to about minus 7. Uh, but we'll make this a little bit narrow just because just of the nature of the sound. Right, so we've created two points now in which we can fill with the opposing sound. So if we take 343 hertz, let's make a new dot. That's quite close to where we were meant to be. So, what was it? 343. So, if we just type in that, 343, it has to be exact. And then we're going to boost dramatically. We'll go 6, we'll, yeah, we'll go about 5 dB. So, we've got a bit of body there, but that is directly filling in where we've cut out there. So, if we head over to this one, and we've got 694, so let's put a new dot in, and we're going to go to 6. Nine four. Now 
let's just get rid of this one for a second. Just turn it off. So 694. So it's kind of the area that I do want to boost. I did pick this early, but it is a guideline. It's not something that has to be from the moment go. Um, you can chop and change and move around. So as you can see, we've got a trough and a peak, and then we've got a peak and a trough. So we've literally cut some out of there, replaced it with that, and boosted there, but cut that out so that boost fits in there. So you've created two beds for each sound to kind of slip into each other and they kind of interlock just like your fingers do when you put them together they interlock with each other so we've merged these two sounds so this is very basic uh, if we just take both of them together and if we just go into the mixer and in fact we don't need to go into the mixer if we just bypass the effects um, it appears my shortcut's not working anymore just hold on two seconds if we just bypass these They seem to lose that kind of power, especially the one that's below, which is the, the massive preset. This one seems to lose its power. And you kind of, I can't describe it, but we've made this more hollow. So if we just remove the mixer, that's become more hollow than it was. This one hasn't done really that much, but we it's more about the interlocking of sounds. So now we can move on to the usual things like this one seems to be lacking a bit of top end. So what I'd do there is just bypass that. just a little bit there just to give it a bit of um, push so then the same with this one to give that a bit of sparkle just a little bit more sparkle over this one so if we just turn this one off a bit So this sit nicely between each other, whereas before they just kind of sat side by side or on one on top of the other and overall as the track progresses it's going to start sounding messy because you've got all these frequencies conflicting. Um, but it's a good, good way to visualise how to do this. If I was to put this here and this here, you can see exactly trough where there's a peak and a peak where there's a trough and you kind of get this mix of sound um, and it, it just interlocks them together that's the main thing you want them to sound all as one even though you can tell sometimes there are two different sounds you try to blend them as best you can and eventually the attention does get taken away from the fact there's two sounds it's just a melody so that is how to merge sounds together I'm just going to roll them off and that is essentially it now if we put that in and then the bass is sounding pretty weak you can always uh, edit that later so you start getting uh, a track building up so I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial it's been a while since I've been doing one um, really trying to keep on top of stuff like this um, just been really struggling for time because I've hit over 500 subscribers and it's absolutely phenomenal that that many people have come to my channel over the space of one year. I started this time last year with 65 subscribers, no 64 subscribers and now I'm at 573 I think uh, just in the space of one year and I have done absolutely no promotion whatsoever. I've just literally shared them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook um, and just got engaged with other people doing similar things and it's just amazing that you are finding me and I find it amazing so I can't express how happy I am for that and I'm going to
going to keep doing these tutorials. Uh, and finally, I will be carrying on the Massive series and I will be starting Asylum series uh, very soon. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for them. And I'm going to aim for a video a week now because um, I'm just really sorry that I haven't had time. Uh, so I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. Thank you. Bye.